Hazel here from Tazan's Crochet Creations and today we are doing episode 4 of the Spin the Wheels series. So again, it is taking my regular keychain patterns and turning them into little mini keychains. Um, so yeah, this is episode 4 already guys. Can you believe it? Um, yeah, all the other ones have been so much fun, honestly. It has been so cool. Some of them have been a little bit challenging because of how small it is. Um, especially working like in front of the camera it's like quite tricky and like it take, takes quite long actually um, but anyway so yeah we're getting started with episode 4 today um, so yeah I have all of my materials out and ready for today um, I've got my yarn on the floor um, so again I'm using my 0.16mm crochet hook as well as um, some fine thread I have red here at the moment because I'm actually busy with a dragon with it so I kind of hope that I will not be needing red but if I do I'll just pull from the outside of the skein instead of the inside like because I'm using the inside for this thing this little dragon that I'm making um it's actually an order by the way so yeah I'm crocheting two dragons for um the new year dragon thing new year's dragon something like that um so yeah, um, I'll be doing a keychain version of it, as well as like a little teddy version. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm working on the keychain version at the moment with this super thin yarn that I'll be using for for this series as well. So I kind of hope that I don't get that I don't get a I don't get a pattern that uses red or needs red. I hope not. Um, but we'll see. So let's get started, shall we? Let us spin this wheel. Okay. So let us spin the wheel, guys. I'm like super duper excited about this. Okay, so I'm going to record my screen and we're going to spin the wheel. Okay, let's go, guys. What is it going to be? Oh. <laughs> It's a ladybug! Okay. Okay. It's a ladybug. Okay, so I'm going to remove the pattern from the wheel. It's a ladybug. Which means I'm going to have to use red. I'm going to have to use red. I think I jinxed myself on this one, guys. I think I really seriously jinxed myself. I really think I did. Okay, anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to stop recording my screen and save this real quickly. Um, yeah, this is super duper exciting, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so this is Spin the Wheel, episode four. Spin the Wheel, <laughs> episode, episode four. Okay, and then let me just save this and do the correct folder okay so oh my gosh the first three episodes have been so much fun um the last one was a bit tricky um i do suggest to go watch that one if you want to watch me suffer <laughs> um yeah it was quite it was quite tricky it was the smallest keychain that i have made so far this year and um yeah i do not regret it um, it came out super super cute even though um, even though it, it had its challenges I should say um, yeah um, but it came out really really cute and I'm so happy with the way it came out I absolutely love it it is like the smallest keychain that I've made so far this this, this episode or this series I should say not episode the series um, okay, so now I need to get my ladybug keychain pattern. Uh, here it is. Crochet ladybug. Okay, so I'm going to get my yarn. So I've already got my red here. Let me start recording on this camera. Um, okay. This is crazy, guys. Okay, so I've got my camera ready. So I'm just going to grab uh, grab my colors. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my colors. So I have my whole drawer here of the colours that I'll be using. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, the ladybug does also have a leaf. Yes. So I'll use this green. 
Um, the reds there, black, red and black. Red, black, and green is all that I'll be needing. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I think so. Yes, it is. Black for the stomach, black for the head, red for the wings. Rare, a black spots and then the green leaf. Yes, okay. For some odd reason, I thought that I needed white. I don't know why, but I did. Okay, so let's get started, guys. Okay, so with my red yarn. I don't know why I jinxed myself with this, honestly. Okay, I'm going to put my yarn to the side. Yeah, so there's my little dragon attached to the center pull. So I'm going to try my best not to um, interrupt that. So I'm going to pull my yarn from the outside so i'm just going to pull out a little bit just so that so that i don't um cause some problems for myself okay and then let's find my tail end here okay so let's get started shall we okay so i'm going to zoom you guys in a bit okay there we go Okay, so I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so now I need to do six single crochets into the magic ring. So this is my smallest crochet hook. This is the hook that I'll be using throughout the series. Um, if you haven't watched the previous ones. Um, so yeah, let's get started with this. I feel like I'm going to go through this yarn quite quickly. Like the yarn that um that are pulled off the ball now to like give me some slack i guess um yeah and i actually do need to go and get some more red yarn soon because that is almost finished and i don't know if it'll even <laughs> be enough to um i don't even know if it'll even be enough to um finish up this little dragon that i'm doing i literally have no idea so we'll see one two three four five and six one more Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I wonder if this is going to be the same size as the previous episodes one, or, or if it's going to be, um, or if it's going to be slightly bigger. I don't know. We'll have to find out, I guess. Okay. I seriously think I jinxed myself when I said I hope I don't get any red and then I go and get red. I seriously think I jinxed myself. Okay, I'm going to put my stitch marker in. Ah, to the first single crochet it did there. And again, all of these, uh, all of these patterns that I'm doing for the Spin the Wheel series, um, I do have... Uh, what's the word? Um, I do have tutorials on them on my YouTube channel. Majority of them, I think all of them, um, there are already tutorials here on my YouTube channel. So if you ever are interested in making any of the patterns that um, that I showcase in the Spin the Wheel series, you can find them all on my YouTube channel. So yeah, guys, we are almost at two thousand subscribers. I cannot believe it. We are literally almost at 2,000 subscribers, guys. It is crazy to think, honestly. I think it took me about well over two years to build, like, to build this channel up to just 2,000 subscribers. But I cannot believe it. It is crazy. Every time, um... Every time I I see like my subscriber count go up, I just imagine that many people just sitting in a room and me teaching them all. Like it's just crazy to think that that's how many of you are subscribed to my channel. It's just crazy. It makes me so happy, honestly. It's just yeah, it makes me so happy. Ugh, yeah, good times. <laughs> And hopefully one day I can have my dream of um, of having my own uh, craft room and also my own yarn store. So I'd love to have my own yarn store where I sell obviously yarn and my crochet related things and 
hold classes and things like that. But yeah, my next biggest goal is to have my own craft room somewhere. I'm not sure where. Maybe when I move in with my boyfriend, um, then maybe I can have my own craft room there, but I'm not sure. So yeah, I really want to have my own craft room because I've been living in this house like since I was two years old. And yeah, so, and there's like no space, like my craft room is my bedroom at this stage. So yeah, and my bedroom is being taken over by yarn and my drawers and everything. So I don't have a lot of space in my room, which is unfortunate, if I do say so myself. So yeah, I really can't wait till I have my own craft room one day. I actually want to do a video going through what I would like in my craft room and then maybe someday when I do move out and with my boyfriend or have my own place or whatever the case is maybe I can do a video showcasing what my craft room actually looks like but yeah I'm super excited for that whenever it comes um, But Yeah, and if some of you guys may know, um, I am also in the process of making my own website so that you lovely people, so that all my subscribers can buy patterns off of my website, but also so um, other people who love my crochet keychains can also buy finished keychains off of my website. So that's also something that I have been working on probably for about two years now. But because of college and all of that stuff, I haven't been able to to work on my website a lot because um, I've been so bombarded with college and all of that stuff. I think I me messed up my stitches here. Ah, that's why. I think. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Okay, never mind. So yeah, college has just been really, really hectic. And yeah, I'm going back to college on Monday. So the day that I'm recording this is the Friday before. And yeah, so I have the weekend and then back to college on Monday. And then yeah, back to the stressful... Back to the stressful, overwhelming stage of my life I guess <laughs> um yeah yeah so some of you may know or may not know um I am studying fashion design I'm studying the degree in fashion design um so yeah I'm in my second year now or going on to my second year um and then I have one more year which is next year so yeah, um, I hope that this year will be a lot better, um, especially because I've got experience working with the sewing machine and things like that. Um, so yeah, I know how to do patterns and I know how to sew up garments and dots and, th and things like that. So I think I'll be okay, but um, still it's going to be a lot of work. And I think a lot of pressure because we'll also be participating in the Durban Jala, um, which in Scape, um, we are, what's the word? Um, we have no choice but to participate in it as part of our assignments. Um, so each fashion student must design a garment based on the theme of the Durban Jala. And then, yeah, then I think who like people can win prizes and things like that but I'm I'm not entirely sure 
But also, um, what they've started incorporating is now that we must do a mock-up before we sew the final outfit or the final garment. So we must uh, make the pattern or cut the pattern and then from there we must do a mock-up. So out of calico fabric which is um, uh, which is like this neutral kind of fabric, lightweight kind of fabric, um, we do a mock-up out of the, the garment uh, in that fabric just to make sure the pattern is right and then from there we'll sew up the actual garment in the correct um, fabric as well as do the, all the accessories and trims and things like that that need to be done for the for the outfit um, so so yeah that's just more material that would, that I'd have to go through um, so yeah I don't know I'm a bit anxious about um, about my last two years but yeah, so anyway, enough to chat, I guess. Um, yeah, enough to chat. Let us continue with making this cute little ladybug. Um, so yeah. Okay, so now I am back and I finished uh, crocheting the red part of the ladybug or like the top wings shell section. So now I'm going to move on to the to the underneath part of the of the ladybug. So now I'm going to end off red. Okay, so I'm going to end off red. And then I'm gonna join my black. I'm gonna join my black. Okay, so now I need to join black in the bare group only. Okay, so now I'm going to join my black yarn. And the back loops only. One single crochet into the next three stitches.
So I think before I get any further, I need to stuff this ladybug. Even though it says I must do one more decrease round and then stuff the stuff after that round, I think I'm just gonna stuff now because yeah, it's getting a little bit tricky to work. Uh, to it's, gonna, it's getting a little bit tricky now to work with this little tiny thing. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna stuff it now. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna stuff it. Okay, let's get my little bit of stuffy. <laughs> Probably don't even need much. I don't even know how much. But anyway, we probably need such a tiny little bit. I don't know. Let's see. Oops. <laughs> okay, so let's stuff this thing, shall we? Ooh. This is going to be so cute, guys. Honestly, this little ladybug is going to be adorable. I mean, like, look at how cute that is already. Oh my gosh, look at how like, tiny that little body is. It is just too adorable, don't you think? Okay, so let us continue. Okay, so now I'm doing a last um, decrease round. Actually, no, I don't think it is the last one. No, it's not. Second to last one. Okay. So... I may actually need to stuff this a little bit more after this round, but we'll see how things go. Yo, guys, it is getting, like, so tricky now to, like, crochet this now. My hands are, like, starting to get sore now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And look at how tiny this thing is. Oh, it's, like, the size of my thumb, guys. Like, literally, like, look at that. It's the size of my thumb. That is legit crazy. I don't know if I need to stuff more or not. I think I do. Maybe I should stuff it before I close up this ladybug I think I think so because if I try and stuff now and then try and so uh, well not so if I had to try and close up this magic ring not magic ring if I had to try and close up the bottom of this ladybug doing my last decrease round I think it's going to be quite difficult I think it's going to be quite difficult Come on, stitch marker, work with me. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to decrease all the way around.
Okay, so now I just did the last decrease round and now it's time for us to end off and to sew the hole closed. This is like so tiny guys, honestly, this is just too cute. Okay, it's going to leave a little bit of a tail and ah, snip my yarn, pull up and out. Ah, I lost my ladybug. I lost my ladybug. Ah, okay, so I'm just going to stuff a little bit more into, um, I'm just going to stuff a little bit more into the ladybug now. Okay, so grab my trusty scissors and just push some more stuffing into there. I think I need to stuff it a little bit more than this, don't you think? Yeah, I think just a teeny tiny bit more and then hopefully this will be the last of it and then we can sew the hill closed and then we can just, um, then it's a matter of crocheting the face or the head I should say, adding the head, doing the spots, making the leaf and then finishing off this keychain. Thankfully, when I did the wings of the ladybug, it did not interfere with my <laughs> dragon um, keychain that I was busy with. Yeah, thankfully the yarn and everything, or the ball, or whatever the case is, the skein of yarn did not get tangled with the with the dragon. So at least that's cool. Okay, I think that is good enough now. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Okay, so now I'm going to sew this whole close, so I'm going to grab my trusty tiny little needle, <laughs> little uh, tapestry needle here. There we go. And then I'm just going to sew this closed. I think the, the keychain that I'm most looking forward to doing on here is the um, is the mini B, the mini B keychain. I think that's just going to come out super, super adorable, guys. And one of the other ones that I'm looking forward to doing is the elephant keychain because there is a lot of components to the elephant keychain. You know, there's the there's the body, the head, the arms, the legs, the ears, the trunk, the little tail. There is that one is gonna be like a lot. And I think there's also the panda one on there as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um Yeah, so so yeah, it's gonna be quite a challenge, I think, but I uh, hey, I'm 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 up for the challenge. Hence why I started the Spin the Wheel series. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, almost finished with sewing in this tail end now. I think that's sewn in enough. Yeah, so now I'm going to snip off my tail end here. And then now for the head, I'm going... Okay, so I'm going to put my body aside. Isn't that just cute? Like, look at that. It's literally like the size of my thumb. Not the size of, my, the size of my thumb, it's like the size of my nail, almost, maybe slightly bigger, nah, it's about the same size, and look at how tiny that is guys, look at that, look at that, look at that, okay, 
I'm getting distracted. Okay, I'm going to put my body aside. And now we're going to work on the head. We're going to work on the head. Okay, so now I'm going to chain for the head. Okay, this is going to be tricky, 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 tricky. Okay, so now I'm going to chain. One, two, three, and four. Okay. <clears throat> two single crochet. I think this is going to be quite tricky doing this. And then I think I still need to sew the head to the body after this. Two in there, and then I think one in here. And then four over here. Gosh, this head is actually curling the wrong way and it's like, it's so hard to turn this the right way. I don't know if it's because of my nails or what is the story, if it's just this is, this is small, I have no idea. But I need to get the head to face the right way, if that makes any sense. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to keep crocheting. Okay, I, I honestly don't think I will be able to turn this head the right way because I'm like literally trying everything to get it to um, to turn inside out so that the right, the right side will be on the outside. But yeah, this is just not working with me. I literally can't even tell which stitches I need to work into anymore <laughs> to be completely honest with you so I'm just gonna go around and just I don't know try and see if I can crochet these this I mean that is kind of what it's supposed to be looking like I guess so I guess I'm on the right track even though I can't really see these stitches properly because it's like folded inside out if that makes sense so yeah and there's no way i'm gonna undo this and redo this so <laughs> just to get it to fold out the right way Okay, I think that is right. I think that's two to three rounds there. Kind of hard to tell, to be honest with you. Maybe I should do another round. I don't know if I should do another round because I can't actually tell if this is the second or the third round now, especially since it has like folded over. Hmm. I think that's right, actually. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch, or at least try to. Okay, there. Yeah, now I'm going to end off. No, I didn't slip stitch right. No. No.
Okay, so I actually split my yarn there, so I have to do the last like three stitches, I think, again. Because, yeah, I split my yarn, so when I tried to pull up and out, I, I couldn't because I, yeah, split my yarn. Did I do it this time? No, I think I'm still splitting my yarn. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what is going on here. Why are you doing this to me? That's so fiddly. So anything about doing these small fiddly little patterns okay there we go Whew. okay that was that took a while okay so now that is the head done I would assume so um okay so I'm just gonna end off here I think that is okay I think that's fine so I'm gonna leave quite a bit of a tail because I actually also need to embroider the spots on as well as sew this on so that's gonna be a fun little thing to do okay so I'm gonna snip this other tail end here I'm just going to snip that off and then grab my tail end and then I'm just going to sew this on. This really does not look very right, in all honesty. Don't know what it is. Okay, I'm just going to tack this side down. This is like so fiddly, guys. <laughs> this is so fiddly. Okay, there we go. And then go back down into the ladybug. Okay. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, so now I need to embroider the spots and everything. So I'm going to come up to kind of like the center of the head, this side. Because I need to sew the line that goes across the body as well. There we go. I hope I have enough yarn to do the to do the lawn and plus still do the uh what's it what you call it? Do the spots. Okay, so I'm gonna come out.
Okay, so that's the spots done. So now I'm just going to snip off my tail end. Okay, now the last thing that we need to do now is just make our little leaf. Let me just hide this tail end, or push it in I should say rather. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now it's time to do the leaf. Isn't that just cute guys? Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, it is so super adorable, honestly. It is just too 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 cute i tell you oh, there's pillows stuffing fluff in there oh, okay isn't it just so super cute guys i honestly love how adorable that is i really wish i could have done another spot there but i ran out of yarn um but yeah isn't that just super super cool isn't that super cute Okay, so now we're going to put that aside and we are now going to do um, the leaf. Okay, so I'm going to keep the ladybug, like maybe like in the distance over there. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it's just too cute, guys. It is seriously just so, super cute. Okay. So now I am going to now do the leaf. Okay. So I'm going to chain... My pliers is getting tangled in my yarn. Okay. So now I'm going to chain. Um, okay, so now I'm going to chain. One, two, three. Oh no. Okay, so there's my chain done. So super, super tiny chain. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to do trebles. So that's one. This is going to be so tiny, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm finished crocheting the leaf, so now I'm going to end off with a bit of a tail so that I can weave that tail in. Okay. Oh gosh, look at how cute that is, guys. It's like half the size of my thumb. Look at that. Oh gosh, guys, this is just too cute, honestly. This is just so super adorable. This is just so cute, honestly. Okay, so we're almost finished. Almost, almost finished. Just going to... Here we go. That is the leaf finished and complete. 
Okay, my gosh, look at that. Look at the little leaf. Oh, gosh, this is just too cute. Oh, my lord, this is just too cute, guys. Okay, we need to, um, we need to put the keychain on. I'm actually running out of um, jump rings. Like, look at the amount of jump rings that I have left. And I have so many packets of keychains, like so many packets of keychains like this. And I've been using more jump rings than what I normally have. I forgot I needed two of these. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I need my jewelry pliers back the side. Okay, so I'm going to put the jump ring uh, over here. Ugh, come on, jump ring, don't be rude. Don't be mean to me. Okay, there, so I'm just going to put that on like that, and then I'm going to get this jump ring, and then, oopsie. This is so freaking fiddly. Okay, and then I'm gonna try and push this through this stitch. Okay, let's let's try and let's try this. Let's maybe turn the leaf. This is gonna be so tricky. Why have you got to be different colors to be me? Why? I'm trying to insert the jump ring on the leaf like how I normally would with my other like leaves or things like that. Um, so basically, instead of just going through that like top loop, I like to go under that like vertical bar of the stitch, if that makes any sense. And this is just being so mean to me. Literally not even letting me go into the stitch where it needs to go. It just keeps pushing through like in between the stitches. This is so tricky. not going to work with me. Okay, I think that's, that is going to have to work. Really? Oh my gosh, did you see that? I literally got it through and then the bloody jump ring jumped out of my pliers. There we go. Okay, I think that is in. I think that's in. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there because if I try, then I'm just going to get it off again. And I don't want to do that. Okay, so let's put the keychain on. Ah. Okay, now to add the leaf. Okay. I want to make sure I'm adding it correctly. Ah. Come on, ladybug. I feel like one of the parts that is taking, that is supposed to go quite quickly, is taking so long. Come on. There we go. Okay, guys. So, oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. That is so adorable, guys. Oh, look at how tiny that is. Oh, this is too cute, guys. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just adorable? I think I need to zoom out. Like, look at that. Look how cute that is, guys. Oh my gosh, that is so super adorable. Look how tiny it is. I actually need to measure this. Where's my trusty tape measure? I always have it lying around somewhere here. And then it's like when you need it, you can't find it. Actually, you know what? I have another tape measure in my notions pouch that I actually forgot about. Isn't this cute? It is a literal um, crocheted cover 
So I got this from um, Wool and Weave in Hillcrest in Durban. Um, so yeah, isn't that just cute? So it's like a normal tape measure, but it's just got this crocheted cover. Isn't that so pretty? I love this. This is my favorite. Actually, when I did the 1000 subscriber giveaway, I actually shipped mine in one of the other boxes for the giveaway winner. So one of, I think it was Lunky. Um, Lunky actually got two tape measures and one of it was actually mine. So yeah, because I went and I showed my brother um, the giveaway stuff for the giveaway as well as my tape measure. And then when I went back to my room um, to package everything, I left my, my tape measure in in her box so that's fun <laughs> so yeah i went back and bought myself a new one um but yeah so anyway let's measure this now okay so it is about okay so let's measure just the ladybug so the ladybug measures approximately three centimeters is that right yeah about like three centimeters Yeah, it's about three three centimeters. Let me maybe flip it on its back. So from the head, yeah, it's roughly about three centimeters, the ladybug. And then the leaf, the leaf is approximately also three millimeters. More like three and a half. Let's call it three and a half. Isn't that just so super cute, guys? Like, look at that. Oh. Look at that, isn't that, that just adorable? Look at that, it's like four centimeters in total. That is so cute. Okay guys, I actually want to do like a size comparison. So I'm going to grab um, my other keychains from my box. Okay guys, so I'm back and I got my ladybug out of my keychain box and look at how big this is in comparison. Like look at that. I don't know why, but I really need to adjust the pattern, but all of the leaves just keep folding on itself and I really need to fix that. It needs to lay flat. Um, but anyway, like look at the size comparison. Like oh my gosh, let me get my tape measure and actually measure how big the original one is so roughly from the head it's about five centimeters is that correct so like from the head it's about five five and a half centimeters um i think yeah so like about five five and a half around there and then the leaf is approximately also like five and a half that's weird wait no this was three and a half wasn't it oh yeah it was three and a half she's for some odd reason i thought that it was the same <laughs> the same size oh gosh guys isn't that just so super cute like, there's the mama one, there's the baby one. <laughs> Isn't that just so cute? Like, look at that, guys. Isn't that just adorable? Okay, I think we need to end this video. Okay, guys. So, that is it for episode four of the Spin the Wheel series. On this, oh, on the cute little ladybug. Let me... See if I can get this to sit nicely. There we go. Look at how tiny that is. Guys, this is so super cute. So now that's four mini keychains that I've done so far. Um, so yeah, if you have watched all of them, I would love to know in the comments down below which one is your favorite thus far. Um, 
I, I don't know if I like this one more than last episode's one, but this one is definitely cute. I think I still like last episode's one, episode three. That one was my favorite, I think. Oh gosh, guys, this is so cute. Look, look at that. Look at that. It actually goes perfectly with my dress, actually. I just noticed now, you know, with the leaf, the ladybug. Isn't that so cute? You know, this would actually work as like a little brochure. Not a brochure. Little brush. Brochure. <laughs> like a little brush, don't you think? That would be so cute. All earrings. All cute little dangly earrings. Come on, ladybug, turn the other way. There we go. Somewhat. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching episode 4 on me crocheting this cute little ladybug keychain. Um, so yeah, let me know if you prefer the cute one over the big one. Um, so yeah, um, this is just super, super cute. I think this would be so cute to like give to little kids or, you know, actually to put these into like little Christmas crackers for like the end of the year. I think that'll be so super cute, actually, now that I think of it. Um, these would be perfect for Christmas crackers. Um, they're like the perfect size. They're not too big and they're not too small. Gosh. There's this like stubborn little polyfill little string um, in the head of the ladybug and it's driving me insane. I think I may have accidentally crocheted it into the head. Um, but anyway, guys, look how beautiful that is. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me suffer and crochet this cute little mini ladybug keychain. Please, again, let me know in the comments down below, out of the four episodes, which one is your favorite thus far? I would love to know. And I would also love to know if you prefer the mini version over the big version of the ladybug. Um yeah i'd love to know in the comments um but yeah that is it for episode four of the spin the wheel series and yeah please guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and share out my channel it really does help out and i really do appreciate each and every one of you i cannot believe it guys we're nearly on 2000 subscribers i am like blown away honestly i'm so blown away so please guys there's a lot of you who watch my videos who aren't subscribed so what are you doing with your life subscribe Grab, click that, that, that subscribe button and click the notification bell because you would not want to miss anything. I publish two videos a week, one video on Monday, which is a spin the wheel series game, and then one on two on Wednesdays, sorry, one on Wednesdays, which is a tutorial. Um, so yeah, I post two videos a week, one tutorial a week, and one spin the wheel series a week, or episode a week, I should say. Um, but yeah, there's some other cool um, keychain tutorials that's coming to my YouTube channel, such as the giraffe keychain, that's one of them. The giraffe, the kingfisher bird keychain, the hun uh, not the honeysucker, what the the grey hornbill keychain, um, also um, an angelfish keychain, and I can't remember all of them right now. I can't remember all of them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's quite a few that I still would like to do. Um, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss any of those of that good content, I should say. Um, but yeah, that is it for episode four um, on the Spin the Wheel series. And I hope again you guys enjoyed watching me suffer and crochet this cute little ladybug. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, happy crocheting guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share. And yeah, that is it guys. Thank you guys. Bye.